Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Ontario Knife Company Shikra. This is a knife that you guys have been kicking down my digital door asking me to hurry up and review. I finally got my hands on one. I got this from White Mountain Knives. If you go there to uh, whitemountainknives.com and use the code SDWMK at checkout, you get 10% off. So uh, not too bad at all. And it's 10% off of only $45.60. These are very, very inexpensive, so I can see why you guys wanted me to review it. And for that price, you are getting a titanium frame lock flipper running on ball bearings with a micarta scale. These same stats could almost be used, you know, for a lot of two and three hundred dollar knives. Uh, they, they did cut a bit on the steel. It's OS 8. We'll get to that in a moment. I really don't have that big of a problem with it. We'll get to, I'll explain that why uh, later. But it's a it's a really nice looking knife and it is a huge departure design language wise from uh, what Ontario normally does. Uh, it's named after a hawk from Africa and Asia, the, the Shikra hawk. I never heard of it before, but I looked it up. It's a pretty nasty looking beast. And so is this. It is a very kind of, kind of, a uh, you know, a uh, pointy stabby sort of design, but I do really like it. I like these milled lines in it. I think it's a very good looking knife. The micarta is very nicely done, especially for this price range really really cool knife nice deep carry pocket clip yeah it's it's a it's really well done design wise i like it you, you may not like that shape a bit it like i said it's a slight departure from their stuff but not a crazy looking knife there's a whole lot of knives that look very kind of this sort of same sort of overall general shape i'll show you a couple of them here in a minute it's not an uncommon knife shape to see uh, but not too bad let's do some specs and some size comparisons before we get too much farther you have an overall length of seven and a half inches, blade length of three and a quarter inches. You have a blade thickness of 0 0.12 inches, handle thickness of 0 0.43 inches, and a weight of only 2.35 ounces, which, uh, yeah, they get a golf clap for that because the micarta side is just a slab of micarta. There's no more titanium in there. It's just on the lock side. So very, very lightweight knife for its size almost down into like bug out range it's uh it's pretty darn light so let's go with our usual size comparisons here first of all we will start with the spyderco paramilitary 2 and the para 3 you can see it's a uh, much closer in size to a para 3 than a para 2 next up we'll do our usual bench maids and then we'll bring out some Ontarios and then just a couple other knives that this kind of reminds me of. Not dramatically so, but a little bit. We have your full-size Benchmade Griptilian and the full-size aforementioned Benchmade Bug Out. Very similar in overall length to a Bug Out. And now we'll bring out the Ontarios that more of us know and kind of more of a design language that we know Ontario Knife Company for, uh, we have the ubiquitous Rat 1 and the recently found Rat 2. <laughs> I mean, I lost this one for a while. I just found it right before I started this video. I was very happy about that. So just a, yeah, kind of right between them in overall length, just a little bit longer than a, than a Rat 2, quite a bit smaller than a Rat 1. Now, Let's bust out a couple other knives. I don't know. These just kind of came to my mind, I guess, uh, when when I looked at this. I started to put the wrong, put away the wrong one. We have uh, one of my favorite little automatics. This is the Protec Newport and the Wee Knives Kite Fin. I don't know. They just kind of reminded me in that same sort of generalish, you know, design language. These kind of more slender, uh, pointy blades. The Newport maybe even more so than the Kite Fin. Just something that kind of reminded me of. And the Kite Fin's very pretty, and I haven't had it on a video in a long time. But let's talk about this knife. So the blade. Yes, it is Aus 8 steel. Not mind-blowing. But again, this is a $45 knife with a titanium frame lock. You know, they had to save some money somewhere. And I will say, there are several Ontario fans. They are They comment in my in my uh, comments a whole lot that are fans you know the rat series and everybody freaks out about the r2d2 and the you know rat 1d2 but uh, a lot of people do prefer the os8 they still make those in the os8 versions and the os8 is just much easier to field sharpen and things like that so i kind of get it um that i'm not too upset about the os8 because it's 45 16 it's a tie frame lock so i want to be mad about it but i'm not Pretty thin blade stock, about 22 thousandths behind the edge. It's a pretty darn good little slicer. 
Uh, it's not amazing, but it's it's a pretty darn good. And you know, it's definitely a piercer for sure. Tip is a bit dainty on it. That swedge is going to make it look worse than it actually is in this angle. But yeah, a bit dainty, not too horrible, but you're definitely not going to want to be prying on stuff on this. This is definitely not what I would put in a heavy use knife sort of category. But uh, not too bad. Ergonomics are really good. That jimping is right where I want it. The flipper tab acts as a very good finger guard. Um, pocket clip isn't an issue. I can feel it, but it's not at all what I call a hot spot. This micarta gives it a little bit of grip. It is uneven, if you can see in the uh, uneven in the like the tie side is much thinner than the micarta side. I guess you kind of notice that, but. I do think they did something to compensate for it, and we'll get to that in, in just a second here. Um, but but not not too bad. I, I really do like the ergos on it uh, quite a bit. Um, next up, we will go to the carry. We'll bring out our Yale Wranglers. It carries pretty darn good. I mean, it's 2.35 ounces. It's pretty slim. It ain't going to be bad. Uh, I will say the pocket clip I did have to adjust on it. The pocket clip, the tension was just, it is a stainless steel pocket clip. That's not titanium. Um, I did have to bend it and adjust it just a tiny bit because it was loose and it was making funny noises. It almost sounded like a tuning fork when you closed the, when you closed it because the detent is very strong on this. And when the detent would sit in, it would go ding. And I had to bend it down a little bit. It still held in the pocket well, but it just needed a bit more tension. But as far as getting out of your hand and out of your pocket, yeah, plenty of room. Yeah, there's flipper tabs sticking out. Not at all objectionable. The jimping doesn't bother me or anything. It's completely fine. It doesn't take up much room. It's a, it's a pleasure to carry, for absolutely sure. It slides in and out easy. There is It's fairly deep carry, but there's just enough to grab a hold of. No issues there. Uh, I really do like that. And the action on this thing is just awesome especially on the deployment. Yeah, it's a it's a snappy little thing for absolutely sure, which is unsurprising because that's kind of Ontario's jam. I mean, that, that all this is just running on, you know, Foster Brown's washers and it still just rockets right out. Uh, not bad at all. I will say, I put this in the deployment section, I probably could have like made a separate like quality thing. One issue I have with it is I don't know what they're doing on this blade. So it's off center for sure. But then you look at it, try the angle right. It's kind of not. It just kind of sits over to the side there. It's not like the usual off center where the blade is like angled. It's just uniformly off center the whole way down. I did take this apart, put it back together, all that stuff. Tried flipping the washers around. Thought, oh, maybe one set of washers is thicker than the other or something. No, nope, it still just went back together that way. It's not touching, not even close to touching anywhere. It just sits off to that side. I don't know if. They were trying to compensate for the thicker scale on this side. Maybe, but it seems like maybe then they'd sit it over the other way. I don't know what they were trying to do with that, but it is the way it sits. I don't know if they're all like that. If you have one down below, you know, uh, comment on that. Um, yeah, but minor little thing. It's not the end of the world, but if you are a complete, you know, blade centering fanatic, which a lot of people are, and, you know, keep that in mind. It's not completely drop shutty. It's a very lightweight blade, but you know, a little bit of wrist, flicks right shut. Uh, I like the action on it a whole lot. I have no complaints there. And that's uh, this knife. Yeah, the complaints I have is off center. I had to bend the pocket up a little bit. Not the end of the world for the price that it is. And I love to see OKC doing something like this. I think it's super cool. It's a really cool looking knife. We didn't talk about the print on the blade. It's just got the usual, you know, uh, 1889 logo. Ontario knife and then uh, China it is made in China um, yeah it's, I, I really like it I think it's a very good addition and for 4560 you want a titanium frame lock it's got all the buzzwords that's for absolutely sure I do I do like it quite a bit um, let me get rid of the box really quick they didn't they didn't spend a lot in the box either but that's all right should grow with a hawk thing on it it's cool um, it says it's from their EDC line Franklinville, New York, not too far from here at all, actually, is where their headquarters are. Uh, but I, I like it. I think it's it's more than worth the price, absolutely. I'm definitely going to call it a bargain, for sure. Um, and really, it, it doesn't have any competition. I was trying to think of what to compare this to. You know, titanium frame locks under, under 100, there aren't many. Um, under 50, there are none, to my knowledge, other than some uh, weird Chinese stuff. But 
which I guess this is technically a weird Chinese thing, but I don't think it's weird. Uh, but Ontario Knife Company has always been a great company to deal with. I definitely recommend them. And I don't mind the OS8. It's just that blade centering and the and the, the blade centering I can't figure out <laughs> in the uh, the type in the uh, the pocket clip having be bent in a little bit. Other than that, really cool knife. I highly recommend it. Uh, go check them out. They are available at your favorite retailer everywhere. But remember, WhiteMountainKnives.com, SDWMK, ten percent off. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.